What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope all you have having a great day so far. Getting into this episode of GH, it was basically a lot of flashbacks. Um, I've been noticing that they've been doing flashbacks more lately. I like the concept of doing flashbacks because it does put some things into perspective and make it kind of make sense. So I understand it. What I don't want them to do is overdo it with the flashbacks. Like, don't overkill. Because I did see a lot of overkill with these flashbacks. Like, literally everybody on this episode had flashbacks. I mean, I understand, you know, Carly and Nell having flashbacks or whatever from back in the day. Because it makes sense for what they're talking about now. But you got Jax having flashbacks. Jocelyn having flashbacks. Willow having flashbacks. Like, everybody just having flashbacks of conversations that happened months ago or a year ago and you know what I mean like I, I get it but don't overkill don't overdo it I do like flashbacks but just don't do it too 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 much um so again it was just a whole lot of mess um I feel like I, I like the writing style that's going on on GH lately my thing is what I don't like is how they're making this Nell Wiley situation they're making it all about Carly that's what I don't like. I mean, I understand Nell has beef with Carly from back in the day or whatever. I get that. But her situation with Wiley and Michael should be about Michael and Wiley. It shouldn't be about it shouldn't revert back to Carly. That's that's my only issue with that, because that's a separate issue. Her keep, you know, her wanting custody and keeping the baby from Michael. That should be about Michael. That shouldn't be all about Carly. You know what I mean? Because I feel like that's just stupid to me. Um, it just, to me, it, it just is really dumb, but, um, yeah, it was just a hot mess today. Carly and Nell decided to hash things out in Nina's office. Um, cause Carly just wants to finish this situation with Nell once and for all. She just wants to know, like, what is it that Nell really wants? Like, what does she have to do to, you know, in this whole stupid feud with Nell and, you know, just get Nell to finally move the hell on. And Nell basically wants Carly to admit that she's just like Nell, that she was just like Nell and Nell is just like her. That's what she wants to admit. She wants Carly to admit that they're one in the same. In a lot of ways, there are a lot of similarities between Nell and Carly, minus the whole psychotic shit, but because <laughs> Nell is just a sociopath. Carly is a lot of things, but I wouldn't call her a psychotic or a sociopath. But Nell is definitely psychotic. Um, but they do have similarities because especially the way that they spoke about how Nell pretty much is upset with Carly because when Nell first came to town, Carly did not recognize her. And that's what kind of started all of this. It wasn't just the whole kidney thing. It was the whole fact that she didn't acknowledge Nell as her sister. That's what's really pissing Nell off and started this whole feud. And that's why she wanted to destroy Carly. The same way Carly came to town and Bobby didn't recognize Carly. That's what started the feud. That's what made Carly hate Bobby back, back in the day. So it's a lot of similarities there. And Carly was confused. Like She was like, was I supposed to recognize you? How was I supposed to know who you were? And Nell just kept hammering it home that we're sisters. And Carly kept reminding her, no, we're not. We're not related. We're not sisters. Because they're really not. Biologically, they're not. Frank Benson, Carly doesn't even consider Frank her dad in any sense of the word. To, to Carly, that's not her father. I guess that was supposed to be her stepdad, her adoptive father. Virginia Benson was supposed to be her adoptive mother. But she does not see Frank as her dad in any way, shape, or form. Um, and that's what tick Nell off because both of them have conflicting stories. So we get flashbacks of Jocelyn basically playing a young version of Carly in Florida and Nina is playing Carly's adoptive mother, Virginia Benson. So basically Carly was leaving Jacksonville cause she wanted to, you know, she wanted big house. She wanted designer clothes, jewelry, traveling. She wanted the life basically that she lives now. This is what she's always wanted. The big house, the nice clothes, trips around the world. This is what she wanted. And she wanted to leave Jacksonville in search of that lifestyle. And Virginia basically kept comparing 
Carly to Frank, who wanted the same lifestyle, you know, big house. He just wanted the nice things, the lavish lifestyle. And of course, Nell, we all know, wants the exact same thing that Carly wanted. And she basically brought it to Carly's attention. She's like, you married into the quarter main family, had a quarter main baby. And then you use the same baby as a leverage over Jason and Sonny for a long time. Um, just to basically live the lifestyle that she lives now. There's no lie in that, to be honest, because it's true. I mean, look at the lifestyle Carly lives. The lifestyle Carly lives is not because of her own hard work and sweat and blood. It's because of who she married. Let's not kid ourselves. Carly has everything because of who she married. Look at the lake house that she had. She had that house because of Jax. Jax spent his money building that house at, when they got married. And she was pregnant with Jocelyn. He built that house for them. And in the divorce, of course, she got to keep it. Now I believe Bobby lives in it. She lives this life because of the men that she married. That's why she lives this opulent lifestyle. And Nell wants the same thing. And Nell felt rejected by Carly when Carly didn't recognize her. So that's kind of what set the wheels in motion for all of this drama between the two and all of this contention. And basically, there's conflicting stories. Nell says that Carly know who she is from back in the day. Carly swears that she does not know who Nell is. Like, she never met Nell back then, she claims. That she knew nothing of her. That she didn't know that Nell was Frank Benson's daughter. She's claiming she had no idea about that. Nell is saying Carly know. Carly knew. So, it's a lot of conflicts in the story between the two of them. So, the question is, who's telling the damn truth? Is Nell telling the truth that Carly knew about her or is Carly telling the truth that she didn't know who Nell was back then? She didn't never met her. Like, who knows? You know, flashbacks, I guess. I, I think this episode is a part one of a two part episode because we're supposed to have a Carly centric episode. So I'm guessing this is just part one. So we're going to get more into this, I guess, tomorrow between the two of them about who's telling the truth, who's lying or whatever. So anyway, moving on from that. Um, Jax is, you know, talking to Nina or whatever and about the role he played in getting Nell's kidney and he's having flashbacks about telling Carly about it. Um, he doesn't regret the outcome because look at his daughter. She's alive. She's healthy, living her life. So he doesn't regret it. You know, he doesn't regret the outcome. You know, he hates the way he went about it and stuff like that. You know, Frank Benson kept sending Carly all these letters asking her for money and Jax, I guess, intercepted those letters or one of those letters or whatever and sent the dude a million dollars like he was willing to give him a million for the kidney. Um, I mean, he went about it wrong, but he did it for the right reasons. Like any parent is going to do anything pretty much at their disposal to save their child from imminent death. You know, if you know that you can make a move that's going to save your kid's life, you're going to make that move. If you can, you're going to make that move. There ain't no question. And Jax knew that that's what he had to do. He had to make a move. He had to use his money, his influence, whatever, to save his daughter's life. Um, he just knew it had to be done. So he's not really apologetic about that. But, you know, what he did also set in motion the feud between Carly and Nell because Nell came to town not only upset because she felt like her kidney was stolen from her but she was even more enraged because Carly apparently didn't recognize her and know who she was so that set a lot of things into motion um it was just a hot mess like a, like in the flashbacks helps connect everything it connects everything it connects the dots to everything like the part that Jack's played into this uh, Carly's past and all that. It really helps connect everything together. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Willow was Nina's daughter. I wouldn't be surprised if Nell turns out to be her daughter. But I feel like with Nell being Nina's daughter, it could open the door to a lot of story. New storylines. Because her dating Jax... And Nell being her daughter would mean that Wiley is now her grandson. So that would mean her and Carly share a grandson. And she's dating Carly's ex. And she's 
potentially you never know what's going to happen with Nina and Jax. If they were to get married, she would be Carly's daughter's stepmother. You see what I'm saying? It opens the door. It connects everything. It opens the door to a lot of story. Her being Willow's mother, I think would be cool. But what does that do story wise? <laughs> like, I'm just saying that would just connect her to Chase, basically. Like, that's pretty much about it. I don't see a whole lot of story that you can really do with that. I mean, unless they add more to it, maybe. But with Nina, with Nina and Nell being related, it adds more to the story value. That's all I'm saying. Um, so it'd be so. Hopefully, we get more info, more uh, information on who her daughter is. So anyway, Jocelyn conned one of the guards to bring her to Sonny's office so she could talk to Jason or whatever. Jason, of course, was not happy about it because the Corinthos family are supposed to be under lock and key right now. Because Cyrus is free, y'all not supposed to be out of the house, y'all supposed to be indoors, basically quarantined, um, until the threat is eliminated. But she, I felt like the whole scene where her and Jason was a waste of time, just, this is just my opinion, I felt like it was a waste, because... Um, she just went there telling Jason, oh, can you promise me that you're going to make sure Nell doesn't get Wiley? How is Jason going to make you that promise? Talking about make sure he don't, she don't win or whatever. Jason can't make you that promise because Jason's not a judge. You know what I mean? Like this is in the court's hand. This is in Diane's hands. Like only those people can work like hell and make sure that Nell doesn't win. This is out of Jason's hands. She basically want him to break the law or whatever to do what he got to do to stop it. He can't do anything about this. He can't. So that whole conversation was pointless. Jason was basically telling her, like, stop, you know, playing into Nell's hand because that's what you're doing. But Jocelyn feels like Nell always wins. She always gets away with everything. You can say that pretty much about a bunch of people in that town, including your own mother and your stepfather. And the man that you're currently talking to. They're the king and queen of getting away with everything. So I'm just saying, like, don't sit there and make it sound like Nell gets away with everything. And Sonny, Carly, Jason pay for all their sins because God knows they don't. Nell don't pay for all her sins and neither do they. A lot of people in that town have caused mayhem and chaos and they're still walking around living their life. So was, you know, good for the goose is good for the gander. But yeah, I just felt like that whole scene was a waste because she could have said all that to Jason over the phone. I'm just saying. So anyway, Willow, listen, I understand that she's desperate to try to help Michael keep custody because she's worried about Wiley being around Nell or whatever. But at the end of the day, the only way that you can really help Michael is if you just testify on his behalf like you said that you would. If you testify, that helps him. You know, Chase told Michael he was willing to testify. You know, they all got Michael's back. You know what I mean? They all they're all trying to do whatever they can to help him win. You know what I mean? But Willow is sitting here having flashbacks of the whole, you know, conversation, you know, how Sasha basically wanted her to marry Michael. She need to get that out of her mindset because there's no way in hell Chase would be OK with that. He was already against the idea when Sasha first proposed it to them. But you could tell when Sasha first proposed that idea, Willow was actually considering it. She was really considering that proposal. But Chase was dead set against it and he would be dead set against it now. Who's going to sit there and watch their girlfriend marry somebody else, even if it's for protecting a child or whatever? Like he's not going to be OK with that because that's a marriage that can last a long time. And who's to say that that's even going to work? Because y'all can go to court. Any judge in their right mind is going to see through that. They're going to see through it. Oh, you conveniently got married. And besides, everybody know that he's dating Sasha. That's public knowledge. Everybody in that town knows that. So it, it just wouldn't work. Plus, you already know Nell would bring up the whole fact that Willow was in a cult. So she would definitely bring that up. So there's no point in doing all that. Like you would just be wasting your time and you would be pissing Chase off and breaking his heart in the process. Why do that? You know, why do it? I mean, at this point, all they can do is just go to court, testify, try to make Michael look like a saint, do what you got to do. You know, that's the only thing that you can do at this point.
But um, anyway, that's pretty much the whole episode. Um, Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. I will see you all later. Hope you have a great day. Peace.